Ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeetZ69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to, to play the, the Wankenstein. Yes, the, the Tankenstein, otherwise known as the Wankenstein. Now, there are a, a, an odd, the odd player that does actually like the Tankenstein. Uh, I know Halloween has, has come and gone, uh, and we're heading towards Christmas now, uh, but I keep coming up against it, like, ever since they have had the Halloween, like, I, I've seen more and more people play in this tank, and to be honest, it is such an easy tank to deal with. Most people that play the tank just doesn't really have a clue, um, and to be honest, yes, it was probably the original, it was, it was one of the original Halloween tanks uh, that you could get for free back in the day, but uh, so I can understand it being a free tank, but nowadays you don't really get it for free, you have to pay for it. Uh, so what is the tank actually like? Now, it has Phantom Crew, uh, which basically you can't hurt a crew that isn't there, uh, although... You can still increase its mastery and skills, bonus from skill work like other. So your crews can't get damaged, which is a nice addition. I'm not going to lie. Armor profile work wise, uh, this is where it really does suck. It, the turret armor is 150, but you do have that hatch, and the hull is 200. Now, there's only parts of that hull that are 200. Uh, other than that, it is very easy to deal with. The DPM is incredibly bad as well at 1524. The reload time with this gun is 18 seconds. Yes, you can play it with the other gun. Uh, the DPM is better, the reload's better, but it isn't as half as enjoyable as the big gun. So the penetration is 206 on your standard AP uh, and 180 on your premium AP. Now, your premium AP is less alpha, uh, sorry, is less uh, penetration because it has more alpha. You do actually get some tanks uh, like this. Normally, your premium AP is a lot more pen, but you do less damage, where this AP is uh, less penetration, but you do uh, more damage. So your standard AP on this gun is 460 alpha, uh, but with the premium AP, it is 530. You also have 600 on your HE. Aim time is poor at five seconds, so is the gun dispersion at 0 0.407. You only have six degrees of gun depression with a top speed of just over 30 kilometers per hour. So I find the tank just so easy to deal with. Honestly, like I never get afraid. Yes, it obviously sucks when you do get shot from a tanking style, especially if they are using that premium AP, it could do a lot of damage, it really can, uh, but there's not going to be that many instances, especially if you do come uh, up against tier 8s, that you're going to be able to use that premium AP, you're not really going to penetrate anything, of course, when you come up against tier 6s, which isn't going to be often, then yeah, you should be able to penetrate most things with your premium AP. Um, but yeah, it's your DPM. Your DPM absolutely sucks. Your armor sucks. Now, if a smasher, I mean, I mess up here. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, to be fair. And I, and I let the, uh, the KV-2 pretty much do some damage. But if something like a smasher comes side onto you or from the rear, then yeah, he's going to be able to do over almost up to a thousand damage with, uh, with HE. He's going to absolutely wreck you, tear you apart. Um, so yeah, the idea is to sort of stare at um, face at them. Yeah, maybe try to angle a little bit. Uh, but I just think the armor profile itself, it isn't the greatest. Obviously, it's slow. Uh, it does... Yeah, it's nice alpha if you can get that premium alpha, uh, the premium AP off. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 DPM, the armor, the speed, they are all they all suck really. They really really do. So we do get an usher into the 88 there. And most games, I mean, you're going to get some lucky bounces. Of course, any, everyone gets some lucky bounces, especially if you do come up against those tier sixes. Some of them will uh, struggle to penetrate you, but Almost anything in tier 8 will be able to penetrate you. They're going to be probably easy. Uh, your hatch is where they can penetrate your hatch. The front plate, the side, the rear, 
anywhere uh, like that, they will be able to penetrate you. And most things that come in front of you, uh, you will have better DPM than you as well. So 1500 really does suck. Of course, if you are using that premium AP, yes, your DPM will go up because you're doing more alpha. Uh, so actually, it goes up quite a bit. So as long as you can get that premium AP off, then yeah, it's, it isn't as bad. But because of the reload, 18 seconds reload, you really have to aim, uh, aim your shots. And if you don't think you can penetrate like that, then, then don't take the shot. You use your normal AP round. Uh, at least you get more pen. Yes, you're not going to do more alpha, uh, but you're going to have more pen. Just like this situation, you know, they are low hit points. I'm going to be able to clear these with normal AP. Uh, so there's no point using your premium AP. But at this point, we are losing on cap points. I have to push. I have to. I've got no choice. Whether I die or not, I had to take that guy out. I had to risk it. Uh, I think we would have just about won anyway. Um, and we finished with just 2k damage. So nothing special. Um, even though the tank has so much alpha, it really is difficult to get the damage. It really is. Uh, you would think with this much alpha, you would go around like doing 4-5k four, four, damage like a lot of times. Like, you know, like the Smasher. Uh, things like that. Or the Annihilator. Anything that does that high, has high alpha that has a kind of dirt gun, uh, you do usually get them them high damage games. But yeah, with this, yeah, it, it, really, it really struggles. It really does struggle. However, it is still the original, you know, it's still the original uh, Halloween tank. I didn't get this tank when it was first released. I joined the game, uh, I believe I joined the game as the event was just starting, or it just started. Like, that is where I sort of really started to, to play Blitz. Not really, I wasn't spending money in the game, I didn't really understand the game completely. Uh, but I know I definitely joined, or I definitely started playing a little bit, as this was uh, in the event, or as it just started. Uh, and yeah, back then people managed to get this for free. Those days are long gone. Those days are long gone, uh, where you could get Halloween tanks for free. Uh, you know, the the Dracula, the Helsing, those are all part of these kind of events where you got for free. Wargaming have stopped doing that. You know, I'd love for Wargaming to do these kind of events again. I know they do bring events where you can get the Halloween tanks, um, the new Halloween tanks, but. They're very, sometimes they are very difficult to get, or, or they cost a lot of money. Uh, so it'd be nice for Wargaming to bring back the old days, you know, where you can get these, uh, these tanks for free. And some of them were actually OP, you know, the Helsing was OP, the Dracula was OP, uh, they were amazing. This, not so much, but I get it was something different, you know, back then it was something different. We'd never really see anything like it. Um, you know, the complete made-up tanks. I know there are made-up tanks like the Smashers and even things like the E5, the Death Star, etc. I know they are made-up tanks, but this was like one of the original proper, proper fake tanks that Wargaming have added. Uh, it's basically, what, a KV? KV-3? Um, except for it's, uh, it's had the Halloween effect. But um, yeah, the armor sucks. I mean, it could be better. I mean, shots like this, we aim, we aim, we aim, and it, yeah, it does absolutely nothing uh, to that guy. Just because I think it is a bad tank, uh, do I think it's the worst Halloween tank that we got? I, I think it could be, you know? I, I really think this could be the worst Halloween tank uh, we have in, in the game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys think is the worst Halloween tank to ever come in Blitz. Of course, the best has to be the Smasher uh, at the moment, closely followed by the, the, the Dracula and Helsing. Uh, but let me know what you guys think is the worst. Uh, there are a couple. There are a couple. Uh, is it the Vulcan that was Halloween? I can't exactly remember all the tanks that come in Halloween. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think is the worst Halloween tank to ever, ever come in Blitz. Um, I don't think, you know, I think there is going to be maybe worse. It happens every year. Wargaming do bring a Halloween tank out each year. Um, I don't think we're going to have as good as we have with the Smashers and the Annihilators and or the the Helsing, the Draculas. I don't think we're ever going to have that kind of uh, tank ever come into the game again. 
Uh, and are we going to get a tank that's as bad as the Tankenstein? You know, time will tell. Time will tell. But uh, yeah, it's very, very frustrating. I mean, even here, I know I'm using the premium rounds. I know I'm up against the Tiger, which is very, very troll. So that is why I decided, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm going to switch. But then I'll switch back because he's side on. Uh, and at this point, I just want to do some damage. And yeah, <laughs> I freaking bounce um and yeah overall the tank is i think it's bad it is bad let me know what you think in the comments below but for now i hope you enjoyed today's video guys i'm meaty 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye